Hi, my name is Dan and uh, this video is one in a short series of videos I'm doing that are introducing uh, blueprints in Unreal um, and uh, in this particular one I want to do a quick tour of the, uh, the blueprint editor. Uh, so I've got um, a third person uh, project that is uh, pretty much uh, not had a huge amount alterated except in the previous video I created some blue a couple of blueprint classes I've got um, two instances of each sitting around in the world um, and just to quickly play I'll show this this particular one has got a box and a tube and is rotating um, and so we're going to have a, a look at that one in the editor so this is that my pipe blueprint class so I created that last time and if I double click it it will open up uh, in the editor and so we're going to have a quick look around here i'm not going to explain absolutely everything in here i'm going to give you the the basics and the the lowdown of what's going on so the first thing is this area in the middle um and uh, there are several tabs up here it's possible to have more tabs over time as you start creating more things um and as you can see by default it's opened up on a thing called the event graph uh so this is part of the uh, the visual scripting system uh, there's another one here which is also uh, a visual scripting which is the construction script um, but the one that uh, at this point in time we're probably more most interested in is the one that says viewport and this is where you can see the elements that make up the uh, the blueprint uh, so we have here we've got actually a cube um, and a static mesh component which has been set to a um, a pipe and we can change over here the details of uh, uh, anything in particular we'll come back to that in a minute um the viewport here is very similar to the uh, to the viewport in the level editor it's got a lot of the same tools in here we've got um the ability to move things uh rotate etc and same we've got the how about something we should have the shortcut keys this work on the cube shot because W E and R and it's not working for some reason now. It was working a few seconds ago. Um, so I don't know what it is that changes that. Um, but we can change them with the buttons anyway. Um, and uh, we've got snap to grids, uh, we've got camera speed for for the camera the speed of moving around, and as you can see, like in the uh, the level editor, we, when we've got these widgets, we can move stuff around, we can scale stuff, uh, we can uh, rotate, etc. Um, so that's the, the viewport. It should be, you should be fairly used to the, the level viewport by now, and it's just pretty much the same paradigm. Um, uh, so next I'm going to look at this stuff on the left-hand side here. So uh, let's do a zoom in. Uh, so basically on the left from here downwards are things that are in your blueprint and so the first uh, section here is components uh, so we've got the three things that are uh, part of it you can see actually four because there's the that's the kind of overall uh, um, blueprint uh, my pipe but then within that we've got a static mesh component which has been highlighted here which has got the tube We've also got a cube, which is also a static mesh component, uh, but has been given the name cube because we dropped a cube in. And we've got the rotating movement uh, component here as well, um, which makes it rotate. Uh, and so those are the things that are called components, but you can add all sorts of other things. Um, and as you add stuff that's in, uh, in the visual script, uh, you'll find that this adds stuff down here so we've got graphs we've already seen that the event graph um and we can kind of focus on particular ones in here it's so kind of changing it over on the left um i don't want to zoom out again we've got functions i'll talk about those in another uh video we've got macros i can't remember if i'm scheduled to talk about those uh variables uh definitely we'll talk about them later we've got a um a reiteration of the components here um, uh, are a couple of them and we've got event dispatchers which i'm not sure i'm that's quite complicated I'm not sure i'm going to be getting into that at any point I'll zoom back out again and uh, so moving around uh, down the bottom here we've got 
<coughs> excuse me, an area where we can get results from various things that we've been doing. Uh, so either from uh, search and find stuff or compiler results. We'll talk about compiling in a minute when we get back around to the far side. Let's go back to the viewport. Um, on the right here, we've got uh, a details pane, which is very similar to the, the details, which is the bottom half of the right-hand side in the level editor. Uh, we don't have a uh, an outliner in the same way. In fact, you could say that this left-hand side is the outliner for a... Um, uh, for a blueprint but if we highlight any of the the elements here it gives you a whole lot of things that you can change like you get in the the level editor um so all sorts of stuff in that by no means am i going to go, start going through that but what i'm going to do quickly is i'm going to change the material of that um tube why well, want a brick uh material on there i don't know um, and I could uh, change the shape if I wanted because it's just a static mesh, so I could put in a cylinder uh, rather than a cube. Now, nah, right, so as I'm doing this, uh, I have seen this in another video. See this flickering here that we've got in the middle as we're moving around? This is because there are two objects with a surface that's exactly in the same plane as each other. And so this is a thing that's called Z fighting, where the uh, the two different materials are fighting for precedence. Um, and it is something that will happen in game if you've got uh, coincident surfaces like this. So the uh, the way to deal with this is to actually just... Why can't I move that? Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Uh, so I'll, I'll get the other one. I'll move it slightly. So I'll just do a little tweak to its location, put it at 51 instead of at 50, and just a small tweak there can stop that Z fighting going on. All right, so I was working my way around. Uh, here's the details. There's some stuff over here that I'm not uh, intending to talk about uh, because I want to, uh, and I'll quickly show this top here just tells you what the, the parent class is. I've talked about inheritance and the fact that um, all blueprint classes have to have a parent, and uh, this is derived from static mesh actor. Uh, and then there's two important buttons over here. So you'll see there's a little yellow question mark here uh, of the compile button. Before you can use something, you have to compile it. Uh, now, this is a computing term, and it means um, it actually, when it compiles, it turns all visual scripts into C++. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if it also creates object code, but it also does a load of checking to see if things are valid at that point. Uh, and it's a great thing. You might think it's really annoying because it brings you up errors, but actually what it's doing is it's bringing you up errors that will that would have been things that would go wrong uh, inside Unreal if you tried to run it uh, as it is. Um, and that checking is actually hugely helpful. Um, uh, so if I click on that, it's going to have a quick check. There's nothing really much for it that's changed other than just changing some shapes and moving stuff around. So there's nothing uh, problematic. And it's gone to a green tick. And down at the bottom, you'll see uh, compiler results. Compiler my pipe is successful. So that's fine. That hasn't saved it. Um, so if we click save, that saves it as well. And those changes, now that they're compiled, uh, should have come through to the the instances in the level there we go so is there anything that i've missed out that's important here we've done the viewports we've done the components we've done the uh, other bits that you're going to add to your blueprint there's the details pane and uh particularly the compile button and the save button so that's it from me for now